As with many areas in Northern California, the history of China Camp goes back thousands of years when the region was home to native Indians. Known as the Coast Miwok, the natives lived, hunted, and fished at this location in Marin, popular for its pristine salt marshes and strategic views of the surrounding region. In February 1844, Point San Pedro Peninsula was part of a 21,000-acre Mexican land grant awarded to Irish immigrant turned Mexican citizen Timothy Murphy. Soon after, in 1848, gold was discovered at Sutter's Mill near Sacramento, and within a year, nearly 700 Chinese arrived in California, the beginning of a mass Chinese immigration. The first documented Chinese fishing in the Bay Area was noted in 1852 in San Francisco at Rincon Point. Beginning in the early 1870s, many Chinese made their way to high volume shrimping areas of the South and North Bay areas of San Francisco. The 1870 census shows 77 Chinese shrimpers at Point San Pedro and Marin. China Camp quickly became a self-sustaining village with plenty of seafood and vast vegetable gardens planted along the hillsides. Dozens of houses built on stilts or pilings dotted the shoreline. Small wharves stretched out at numerous points from the water's edge, and shrimp fishing nets hung everywhere. By 1875, there were more than 26 camps around the Bay Area, including large camps at Hunter's Point in San Francisco and across the Bay at Point Richmond. Many of the Chinese workers hailed from the sea-oriented provinces of southern China. They brought with them fishing and preservation techniques necessary to develop a comprehensive shrimping enterprise. The 1880s saw the peak of China Camp, with nearly 500 residents at the village. By the early part of the decade, China Camp was producing more than 3 million pounds of shrimp per year, with approximately 90 percent exported to China. The work created quite a sight, as described in this 1888 publishing of Picturesque California. North of Point San Quentin extends the far nobler point of San Pedro, where Chinese fishermen ply their vocation so quietly and so remote from the beaten road as to be almost unknown. Their cone-shaped nets are set for shrimps, catching weekly from 20 to 30 tons. After the hull has been removed, the shrimps are winnowed through a hand mill and sent to San Francisco, while the hulls are shipped to China and sold as valuable fertilizer. Thus meet the old world and the new. By the 1880s, anti-Chinese sentiment was on the rise, and in 1882, the Chinese Exclusion Act was enacted, forbidding the immigration of Chinese laborers. The Exclusion Act slowed fishing to a crawl. Many in the village left the area, leaving less than 125 residents by 1900. Competition for the Bay's seafood resources led to further state efforts to regulate fisheries, with each new law aimed almost exclusively at Chinese fishermen and their customs. In 1943, the Chinese Exclusion Act was finally reversed. By 1959, most of the immediate area around Point San Pedro was sold for housing development. However, many of the area's development plans never materialized, and in 1976, much of the land was sold to the state of California for the establishment of a state park. China Camp State Park was dedicated in October 1980. Today, Bay Area residents and visitors from around the world are drawn to China Camp State Park in Marin County for its beauty, its numerous outdoor activities, and its rich history. <laughs>